Question 16, Honourable Member for Ramsey, Mr Hooper. Thank you, Mr President. I'd like to ask the Chairman of the Post Office what economic impact assessment was undertaken before the retail strategy was put before Timor. On the Chairman of the Post Office, Ms Edge. Thank you, Mr President. Honourable Members will appreciate the demand-driven strategy approved requires Isle of Man Post Office to adapt services over time in response to changes in customer demand and the needs of retailers acting as postmasters ancillary to their own private businesses. Given the evolving nature of the retail network and private businesses involved in providing services on behalf of Isle of Man Post Office and its commercial partners, it's impractical for Isle of Man Post Office to undertake such an assessment. Supplementary, Mr Hooper. Uh, thank you very much, Mr President. So, before uh, this retail strategy, which is going to affect the whole island, which will impact on most of our small local economies in towns and villages, the Post Office Chairman is confirming that the Post Office Board felt it impractical to do an economic impact assessment. Can I, can I just confirm that, that I have that absolutely right? Chairman to reply. Thank you, Mr President. Um, certainly, I am not aware of the government having any criteria set that an economic impact assessment has to be put forward before bringing anything to Timwald. Um, so, yes, I am confirming due to the nature of our business and the numbers of commercial partners, etc., that we have, it was impractical. Mr. Hooper. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, I hope the Chairman can confirm that an impact assessment was done actually, in, in terms of the impact on the business itself, uh, which would have considered the impact on individual commercial partners, impact on service delivery from the post office. Uh, I know this because it was subject to an FOI request. So all of the things that the chairman is telling us would make it impractical. It seems like they did assess the impact of all of those factors uh, already, but they just didn't assess the impact on the external facing. Is that, is that again, is that correct? An impact assessment was undertaken that considered internal factors, factors such as she's laid out, uh, which were specific to the post office itself. They just didn't feel the need to do an impact assessment on the Isle of Man as a whole. Chairman to reply. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, the impact assessment that was carried out by Isle of Man Post Office is a requirement of this government, and that was an equality impact assessment, and that was carried out in this case. Um, with, with regards to impacts, obviously as a business, bringing forward a strategic, strategic business case, we look at the impact on our business and on the suppliers who are providing services for Isle of Man Post Office.